this is not really a destination wedding. It's a homecoming wedding. It's, it's really homecoming for Hillary and the Hogans and soon to be home for Keith as well. to celebrate your love for each other and I know I speak for everybody gathered here when I say that we wholeheartedly support your decision to continue your journey in life as husband and wife. Your wedding ceremony is one brief day in time and although your vows are spoken in a matter of minutes they are promises that will last for a lifetime. Hillary, I take you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise to listen to you and learn from you. I will love you and have faith in your love for me through all our years and all that life brings us. Hillary, we've come a long way from being those little girls locked in the pantry. You've grown into a strong, independent woman that's got a wicked way with words. And it's too bad no one will ever know how many hours you put into perfecting that signature shimmy of yours. <laughs> You've been around the world and back, and it makes me smile to know that you can now use the line, I had to see about a guy all the way in Shanghai. <laughs> Hill had been talking about her unicorn. That's what she called it. Her unicorn, whom she had met in Shanghai, this elusive unicorn who had come into her life, so good looking, so dapper. But then he was gone. He was this mystical being. And then he came back into her life many years later. Since then, I got to witness such a beautiful relationship unfold. You two are just a match made in heaven. Keith. We love you. Hillary, we love you. You make a wonderful couple together. And it's your world now. And we're all living in it. God bless you. We love you. I'll pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your wife.